Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Gnome Show After Dark. I am your host, Josh. Uh, tonight for you, I have a uh, short uh, analog horror for you by uh, Anomaly called This Walks Beneath Las Vegas. Uh, that's boogie, ladies and gentlemen. Known for its vast desert landscapes, the state of Nevada hides an enormous number of mysteries that lurk along the lonely roads that traverse the United States. In this video, three strange and unknown phenomena of Nevada will be presented. The Red Cabin. <laughs> Those who have spent a few hours driving along the Veterans Memorial Highway may have noticed that for most of the journey, there is nothing but sand, rocks, and an eerie silence. Similarly, during the nights, there is nothing but the moonlight. Coincidentally, that is one of the one of the things uh, I wanted you to uh, to message me about. I was I wanted to ask you a couple questions about the back end, like the analytics part of things. Um, so yeah. However, some people testify, and most importantly, support it with convincing evidence that they have come across a series of abandoned and partially ruined cabins. The photographs they provide show a rather similar pattern of architecture that is not very common for this region. My husband and I were driving in the van at around 10 and nice in the on mapping out and new projects. Hell yeah, brother. Near a small cabin we saw in the distance. We thought there might be someone there to help us, but it turned out to be abandoned. We've been through here before, and it's the first time we've seen it. Different testimonies describe it as being about 30 to 40 square meters in size, single story, and with peeling orange paint on old wood. Of the more than 20 testimonies recorded between 1991 and 1992, most of them report that they haven't always seen them in the same places. A group of teenagers were the only ones who encountered it at night and briefly recorded its interior. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Fuck. <laughs> what? So this is probably, this is one of those houses that's uh, like, uh, um, temporarily, temporally, uh, like, uh, misaligned. So it's like, it's always popping in and out of, uh, uh, times and places. Uh, and it's probably got some nasty infestations too, as we can see. They found a strange, misshapen mass, similar what to muscular fuck? tissue. Within this strange substance was a huge eye that, according to their testimony, blinked upon direct contact with the flashlight's light. Oh, hell with no. With some fear, they retreated and returned to the car. Yeah, I, I, yes. But before leaving that the, the place... That's, that, that is a suitably logical reaction to a blinking eye inside a an abandoned cabin in the middle of nowhere wolf they captured these two unsettling photographs <coughs> what, the what fuck was is once that? a small cabin in the middle of the desert had begun to be engulfed by this red mass and transformed Ew. into a deformed entity that emitted its own light what it was angry that you that it poked you or that you poked it in the eye nothing more has been heard of this since then Kind of reminds me of the Vita Carnis type stuff. They emerge from the lake. To the what west emerges of the from the state lake? lies the well-known Walker Lake, which also shares territory with the Veterans Memorial Highway and a small town of no more than 300 inhabitants. Away from the noise of big cities, Walker Lake is often visited by tourists and curious individuals. Hey, y'all remember that um uh, the movie uh um. Man, it was uh, it's not Tales from the Dark Side. It was it was um, it was a movie that they did, um, Creep Show, um, where they uh they they had they those teenagers were on the uh the lake and that black mass was coming at them and like ate them all up. Yeah, I know some people have their problems with it, but that shit always fucking scared the fuck out of me. I never go on those like floating dock things ever, or if I do, I'm always thinking about the black mass floating on the fucking lake. 
individuals who decide to camp by its shores at night. Stop. This large body of water has been known by the few locals as an area of extremely rare sightings, both of UFO phenomena and other paranormal occurrences. Ooh, UFOs. From a sensationalist magazine, the following testimonies were obtained, accompanied by respective photos of a series of apparitions during 2001, which were captured by a group of hikers during the fall. On the nights of October 1st and 3rd, strange green lights were spotted hovering over the lake, with one of the witnesses describing them as lanterns. Given the distance they were... They look like those kinds of things, uh, if you've played uh, Fallout 76, uh, those things with the lures on the end of them, or the things in the deep sea with the lures on them trying to fucking get you to come here. Brad, these lights would have had to be over 100 meters in diameter. According to the testimonies, these lights moved in a zigzag pattern over the lake and occasionally hovered over the road. The light they emitted flickered from time to time, and despite their rapid movements, they made absolutely no sound. Although the locals gave credence to this phenomenon, it did not occur again for several more years. Welcome viewers, nice to see you. Um, During we're watching some stuff dates, from Anomaly. A hiker took a photograph from one of the highest points in the few elevated areas around the lake. The image speaks for itself, there is no need for further description. The following story is about a series of little-known urban events hey, hey, in the Vegas. city of all Las right. Vegas. In its vastness, with lights and attractions of all kinds, amid the hustle and bustle, Many times people visiting this place don't have time to notice or become aware of some strange occurrences happening in certain hotels and also in local residential areas. What the fuck is that? The Walking Bodies is an old urban legend that tells of the existence of peculiar humanoid creatures that inhabit the sewers and old structures buried beneath massive casinos. It is said that they have That's been seen both in small peripheral streets and in the ventilation ducts of some downtown hotels. Legends describe them as skeletal figures covered in an extensive red mass, what? similar to muscle, but unlike its function in... Again, this like a, like a feels a little bit uh, like, well, it draws some comparisons not only to Vita Carnis, but some stuff from SCP. And I, I want, you know, there, you know... Uh, Everything influences everything else. Like, it's it's not like... I mean, you... There are plenty of, like, in uh, unique thoughts and everything uh, and, and ideas, but, like, a lot of times, you know, like, the imagination tends to conjure, uh, you know, similar things. You know, like, we're always... We're all in that zeitgeist type thing. The human body. This seems to be a massive parasite that controls a more solid body for efficient and somewhat faster movement. Actually, that, never mind, that's pretty fucking cool, and look at that. Look, look, he's even grabbing a fucking axe of some, short, uh, some sort. And he's fu It's a meat mech, oh shit. No one really knows what they do or if they have any purpose, and until 1999, no one had photographed them so they remained in the category of unverifiable myth for a long time. That same year, the highest number of police reports regarding these apparitions was also filed. One of the most striking testimonies comes from a man staying at the Stardust Resort. I was taking a nap, you know, after last night's hangover. It's hard to stay in good shape the next day, and I heard some very strange footsteps from the floor above. I frequent this hotel, and I had never heard anything like it. This is a five-star place, you don't hear the guy above you walking. So, I asked for help at the hotel, the young folks working here gave me the silliest answer I've ever heard. Mice? There are no mice here, I didn't pay this amount of money for rats. The next day, I heard those same footsteps but inside the bathroom, on the walls. What the fuck? That was the last straw, I left that place immediately. However, the following week, I inquired about the rooms and the rat problem. I couldn't believe the response. They said they had to close off a large part of the upper floors because they found some bodies, some muscle tissue. I don't really remember the words they used, 
but the description at that moment terrified me too Ew. much. Ew. In November 1999, yeah, yeah, absolutely. five of these strange entities were photographed, all on different roads connecting to Las Vegas. Whether they are real or not, that's up to your judgment. However, the descriptions match perfectly. What the fuck, man? Bro, burn it with fire. All types of fire. Give me some spray cans and a lighter, man. Bro, I'm... Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Tossing fucking firebombs down there. No, nope, 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 nope. I'm... I'm... I'm helping the city for free. Let's burn it all. <laughs> oh, God. What the fuck? Were these once human, or are they trying to be human? They look like they're trying to be human. Oh, shit, look at that. Uh, like, uh, uh, you, me, and spaghetti. Fuck yeah, dude. Uh, yeah. Um, um, so, <coughs> if you're going into, if you're going into Vegas, <coughs> for the love of God, keep you and your pets away from the fucking manholes. Holy hell. That's why you, uh, install massive grates over all your manholes and, uh, and, and open sewers, just to be sure. All right, let's see what else is cooking. I kind of like this guy. Uh, comment down in this, uh, uh, or, uh, you know, down below. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, have you been to Vegas? I haven't, but I would like to go. Um, but um, uh, have you? I know it's 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 uh, it's it's just a, 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 a an analog horror type thing. Can you imagine those things type of things roaming beneath in, uh, uh, Vegas? It would. Um, you know, it would flow right with New Vegas, but, you know, that's New Vegas. Uh, like, subscribe, and share. I love you all. Be safe, happy, and healthy, and I'll see you in the next one.